Hello, my name is Rishi from Balloon One. Today we'll be looking at fixed assets within SAP Business One. This is the fourth video in our fixed asset series, and today we'll be looking at importing and migrating fixed asset master data within SAP. Just a reminder for this series, we'll be looking at fixed assets as of SAP Business One version 9.0 where fixed assets are now inbuilt into the financial module. Previously, they were an additional add-on. Just a quick note that for this video, we will not be looking at any examples or demonstrations within SAP Business One. So we'll start with a brief recap of the series. We will look at what you need to know for importing and migrating data. We will look at the fixed asset data migration method and finally the importing from Excel tool. Just a reminder, it is advised to make decisions about legal and industry requirements with the client's accountant. To start using the fixed asset solution, we must first activate it. This is an irreversible setting. We need to set up the additional components as per the second video of this series to be able to use the fixed asset module. Companies that use the fixed asset add-on prior to version 9.0 will need to conduct the following. First, they will need to upgrade to SAP Business One version 9.0. They will then need to activate fixed assets within SAP Business One. And they will need to migrate existing data using the fixed asset data migration wizard or importing using the import from Excel tool. The upgrade to SAP Business One version 9.0 or later has the following results. The fixed asset add-on is no longer available. No data in the add-on is upgraded. Instead, all the data in the add-on is stored in the database after the upgrade. As a result, we need to use the fixed asset data migration wizard to migrate the existing fixed asset data into the new solution. Here, it is important to note the transfer will only be possible after a fiscal year change and at the first day of the next period. Data from previous years will be imported as accumulated values only. If we look at an example, if you imagine I have a company using SAP Business One version 8.82, I've been using the fixed asset add-on since January 2010. And my fiscal year change is the 1st of January of every year. If I upgraded SAP Business One to a version later than SAP Business One version 9.0 in May of 2016, and I activated the fixed asset solution in my new version, and we migrated the data from the add-on using the fixed asset data migration wizard, all the fixed asset master data with their accumulated values as of January 1st, 2016 are migrated. Any depreciation or transactions posted after the 1st of January 2016 are not migrated. In my example, we must do the following in the add-on before we upgrade to SAP Business One version 9.0 or later. If there is asset depreciation in the fiscal year, cancel the corresponding journal entries. After the upgrade, I must carry these depreciations again. If there are asset transactions such as capitalization or retirement in the fiscal year, I must cancel these transactions and their corresponding journal entries. After I upgrade, I must recreate these transactions again. In order to follow these steps, we would need to temporarily unlock the relevant posting periods to allow reversals of journal entries. Let's look 
at the fixed asset data migration wizard. Firstly, it's important to note you can migrate the following types of data from the add-on using the fixed asset data migration wizard. Account determination, depreciation areas, depreciation types, asset classes, and asset master data. Before we run the wizard, we need to be aware of the following prerequisites. The fixed asset add-on must have been of version 8.8 .8 or later. You have run a backup of the company database. I believe it is within the last two hours of running the wizard. And finally, you are the only user logged into the company database. In SQL, you can use the activity monitor and filter by database to confirm this. The wizard can be found in the administration module, utilities, fixed asset data migration wizard. In order to run the wizard, we must select it from utilities, Select Start a New Migration or Run an Existing Selected One. Specify the Migration Run Name and the Options and select Execute. Finally, we should be able to view the Summary Report of the Migration. Now, let's talk about Importing from Excel. There are three types of asset data that can be imported from SAP Business One using the Import from Excel tool. New assets, these are assets that do not have a depreciation start date. Active assets, these are assets that have a depreciation start date and do not have a retirement date. And finally, inactive assets, these are assets that have a retirement date and the net book value of which is zero. For new assets, we must have the following information in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to allow us to import. We will need at least the item number, the asset class, depreciation area, useful life, remaining life, and the depreciation type. For active assets, we need the item number, the asset class, depreciation area, useful life, remaining life, depreciation type, acquisition and production cost, and finally accumulated and ordinary depreciation. For inactive assets, we will require item number, asset class, and depreciation area. The following values should already exist within SAP Business One. Asset class, depreciation area, depreciation type, asset group, depreciation group, sales tax definition, and purchase tax definition. Before data can be imported using the Import from Excel tool, the following should be defined within SAP Business One. Account determination, depreciation types, depreciation areas, asset classes, and asset groups. In SAP Business One, we can find the Import from Excel tool in Administration, Data Import or Data Export, Data Import, and Fixed Asset Master Data from Excel. To run the import, we select the Fixed Asset Master Data from Excel option. We select the fiscal year of which you want to import the assets. The system will copy the asset values as at the beginning of the fiscal year. We need to map the Excel sheet columns with SAP Business One fields. Specify the data mapping method by using the column and field columns. Save the mapping method as a template and select OK. This now concludes the set of videos for this series. I hope you have found them all useful. Thank you.